What's going on, y'all? It's JD Pickell with On3 today on The Hard Count. Will Spencer Rattler be successful at South Carolina? We will discuss next. Welcome into The Hard Count, the people show for every single thing that you know and that you love about college football. It happens here on a nearly daily basis. Nick Brake doing the heavy lifting. You can help drive the show at my Twitter page, at JD Pacal. Now, Spencer Rattler, this time last year was scheduled to win the Heisman Trophy, was scheduled to lead Oklahoma to the college football playoff, and was scheduled to be the first quarterback taken, potentially the first overall pick in the NFL draft. Uh, a little storm blew in called Caleb Williams and ended up taking the starting job at Oklahoma. And Spencer Rattler, no one can blame him, jumped in the portal and is now in Columbia, South Carolina, going to be the starting quarterback for the Gamecocks. And so this storyline has really read like a soap opera. There are just so many different facets of Spencer Rattler's maturation and process and ultimately his journey to South Carolina. But this begs the question, is this going to work? I mean, legitimately, will this Spencer Rattler experiment work in South Carolina? There's a lot of things to be excited about with South Carolina. I mean, they overachieved by a lot of people's standards last year. Coach Beamer's got that program buzzing. There's a lot of juice around the program, a lot of excitement. But will Spencer Rattler be a good fit at South Carolina? I'm going to give you a couple scenarios as to how this thing could play out. The first of which is new setting, new system, new Spencer right? Like sometimes all it takes is just switching locations and being able to have a fresh start because everything at Oklahoma, in a lot of ways, it sounds like it had a negative impact on him. I mean, anytime you're scheduled or slated or expect to do all these big things and end up underachieving to be around that, just to be around that physical environment and be around some of those people you feel like maybe you let down. I'm assuming that's an emotion he felt at one point in time that weighs on a person. And so to be able to legitimately physically move to a new place could ultimately bode well. There's also a chance that getting into a new system is going to potentially benefit him. Going to be able to see some different things he hadn't seen before. He's talked a lot about Marcus Satterfield and what he's done for him in terms of allowing him to take the next step as a quarterback. And I hope that's true. I wish the best for Spencer Rattler. But that might be all it is. That might be all he needs is just some new digs some new living conditions and just a new place might ultimately be what's best for him. So that's one scenario. He just gets back to his old ways, feels like himself again from that New Year's Six Bowl season at Oklahoma, is comfortable again, is confident again. We're back up and running, Spencer. The other piece of this is, or another scenario, I should say, is that he succeeds because they just straight up ask less of him at South Carolina. At Oklahoma, in Lincoln Riley's offense, there is a lot asked of the quarterback. You're making checks. You're doing a lot physically that's difficult in terms of what he has to do from a dual threat perspective and uh, throwing the ball downfield and things like that. I mean, the offense legitimately goes as the quarterback goes. And so when Oklahoma sputtered, fingers getting pointed at Spencer Rattler. And so it's not that he won't have to do a lot of those things at South Carolina. He just might be asked to do some of those things less. He's still going to have to be the leader, still lead the offense, still be accurate throwing the football, still drive the ball downfield, still make checks. All of those things are still going to be his responsibility. But the defense returns seven starters. The entire offensive line comes back. Maybe they get that run game going that struggled a year ago. They went in the portal. Maybe they get some success in the run game. And ultimately, with a pro-style system, there's a very good chance that they take some things off his plate that he had on his plate at Oklahoma. And so just not having to feel the weight of the world and not having the expectations of the world on your shoulders for Spencer Rattler, again, that might be what does the trick for him. That might be what allows him to play free and just let the game come to him. Now, the third scenario is a little bit less positive. This is a little bit more bleak, so bear with me. The third scenario is that Spencer Rattler, again, stops Spencer Rattler. Because we've seen it on multiple occasions. This kid has so much ability. I mean, he's put it on tape multiple times. Physically, he has nothing to prove. Nobody is doubting his arm talent, his athleticism. As a quarterback, just physically, the dude has got it. However, we saw in the same token multiple times at Oklahoma where he just tried to do too much and made poor decisions. Forces the ball downfield double coverage. Uh, gets to the out route late, doesn't see the defensive end dropping on the slant through his interception, continues to get into his own way. 
that could be what stops Spencer Rattler. And ultimately, the, the worry I have is that he doesn't have success early on, and then that hurts his confidence and he starts to spiral. I want to make it very clear. I hope very much so, and I root for Spencer Rattler to succeed. I would love for nothing more than for him to come from Oklahoma, show up at a new program in the SEC that's trending upwards, and for him to kill it. I would love that for Spencer Rattler, the person. However, this third scenario is the most recent sample size we have on him. He left Oklahoma because of what he wasn't able to do on the field. Caleb Williams made it really difficult because he is a phenomenal talent in his own right and a generational talent in some sense in his own right. But Spencer Rattler failed to accomplish the mission on the field at Oklahoma, and that's why Lincoln Riley turned to Caleb Williams. I very much believe that he has it in him from an ability standpoint, but if he continues to make poor decisions, continues to force the ball to where it doesn't need to be or where he doesn't have to go, learn to throw the ball away, learn to tuck it and run, learn to take a sack, whatever it is, then he won't be able to be successful at South Carolina. and It'll be more of the same. But again, we root for him on this show. I want to make it very clear. We root for Spencer Rattler on the hard count. That's it for us on the hard count. We appreciate you tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. Comment below. Do you think that the Spencer Rattler experience will work at South Carolina? Let us know and let us know why. We're going to keep the party rolling. We will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.